want everybody to understand this is gonna this event's gonna take some time. It's not over yet, uh, it, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a long haul as uh, this fire moves around our community and before we can get you back in here. The Backbone Fire forcing evacuations near Strawberry and Pine. Thousands of people had to leave their homes last night. The fire is now more than 17,000 acres. Investigators think it was started by lightning. In a live Facebook update this evening, folks were asking about Camp Verde. Fire officials say it's not an imminent danger, but crews are keeping a close eye on it. And tonight, the emergency shelter for evacuees has moved from Rim Country Middle School right next door to the Payson High School Dome. There are still road closures in place tonight because of the fire. Highway 260 is closed between Camp Verde and Highway 87. During last night's evacuations, officials say there was one minor crash there with a minor injury. They want to remind you to use an alternate route so that everyone can get out safely. There will be backups and there's no estimated time of reopening. While the evacuation site for people is moving, the Arizona Humane Society is still at the middle school because they're offering a safe place for pets. They're like family members, got to think of them in these emergencies, of course. An organizer set up a shelter where evacuees can take their dogs and cats. Arma Lockhart is joining us now to explain these critical resources. Well, the Arizona Humane Society response team arrived in Payson this morning. This is the organization's third deployment to a wildfire in just the last two weeks. A busy fire season, though, isn't stopping them from helping evacuees and their pets. As crews fight the raging backbone fire, there's now a safe haven for people fleeing the area to bring their pets. Our emergency response team deployed today to Payson. The Arizona Humane Society set up a temporary animal shelter at Rim Country Middle School in Payson. A team of six is there taking in cats and dogs. Right now we're assisting the Humane Society of Central Arizona because their shelter is full. Breda Nelson with AHS wants to get the word out there. One of the biggest things when these fires hit is people are scared to evacuate without their pets and oftentimes they don't think there's a place for their pets to go. Nelson wants people to know their pets will be taken care of. If there's an emergency, a veterinarian and medical animal tech are there. We're examining pets. We will vaccinate them upon in take free of charge. The backbone fire sparking up during a demanding time for the Arizona Humane Society. We've deployed about 36 team members in the last, um, you know, two weeks. While it provides resources in Payson, help is still needed here in the valley as temperatures soar. None of the work in Phoenix goes away. I mean, we're in our summer months right now. Uh, so the number of heat calls that we're receiving that our field team's going out on uh, is extreme as well. Now, for people with livestock, another separate animal shelter is open at the Payson Event Center. Now, Nelson says this is also a good reminder to have an evacuation plan for your pets to practice that plan, and it includes having all their supplies ready to go.